going to show you some edge work concepts for the foot today. And uh, so first I want to define what I mean by edge work. Edge work is working at the edge. The edge is the, the boundary at which your body becomes protective of your movement or guarded of your movement for some reason. Another way to think of it is the point at which your body's asking the question, how dangerous is this really? These might be marked by, this, this edge might be marked by all kinds of things, a feeling of unease, uh, change in the muscular tone, onset of pain, change in your breathing pattern. The, the edge is kind of different from person to person. So usually I just leave it as simple as uh, find the edge, whatever that might be for you, and that is where you work at the first boundary of that edge. Okay, okay edge work for the feet. We're going to start off with some simple movements here and I'm going to demonstrate the concepts for you. The first concept is nudging. So we're just going to use the simple movements of dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, inversion, eversion. Okay? Now if any of these motions were limited or painful, you would find that edge, the point at which your body asks the question, how dangerous is this really? Whatever you would associate to be at uh, the beginning of the protective, uh, the protective behavior. And you just find the first sign of that edge and you back away from it. Find the edge, back away. Find the edge, back away. And you do that repetitively and hopefully what you see is over the course of multiple repetitions that edge moving further and further away until you start gaining freedom of movement. You can do this in whatever direction is uncomfortable. If it's inversion, you find the edge, back away. Find the edge, back away. Now, the second edge work concept is, uh, <clears throat> is what I call scraping the barrel because we're going to use a circular motion this time. Okay. Now, this is really a good one for people who've sprained their ankles because usually most of those movements aren't comfortable. So what you're going to do is you're going to find that edge and you're going to stay on that edge all the way throughout the range of motion as you're going in a circular pattern here. Okay? So call it scraping the barrel because you want to find that edge and just ride along the rim of it the whole way around. Now your edge might not be circular. You might have to make a make some odd shapes in it to stay on that edge but that's okay but what you'll find is your freedom of movement in, improves that motion should become smoother and more circular it usually does now the third edge work concept is called stacking the deck so now we are going to find the edge and then we are going to uh, work at the edge with another motion that we already associate with being non-threatening as being something that's that's uh, that's not something we should be protecting against. So at this point, this is where I plug in the uh, the, the concept of novel movements. Two mo novel movements of the foot that I really like. One is the flex the toes as you plan or flex the ankle, trying to keep the toes from extending not a normal movement that we do with our foot so it tends to be novel so you can find the uh, the edge of inversion let's say and then from there do your movement do the same thing in eversion okay now another one you can do is uh, you can find that edge let's say of plantar flexion and then extend and flex the knee you can incorporate neurodynamic movements here, such as slump glides, 